Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Moonshine Inc. with our little journey from home, home bro to Master Bro. <laughs> and we, here we go. So, uh, let's load into the game. We are just arrived in safe slot 1, uh, where we are day 75 in the forest. And we were just about to set up base. And we have a lone worker. And he is called Steven. Steven is going to craft our base. So for the time being, what we are uh, trying to do is basically lay low and uh, just get everything set up. Not sell anything, just keep, keep the police out of it. They don't have to know what we're doing. But you know what, we could also hire George. I have a feeling he's happy with 69% of, of the salary. So send, send the offer. Yeah, he, he indeed is. His back pain was just too much to say no. And uh, we are we now have a secondary worker that is very cheap. And um, they can... Zero per week? You do deserve slightly more, George. Well, not yet, but soon. Um, so, yes. Energetic Steven will be uh, a lot more handy, though. Running around the place and uh, doing some runs. But... Let's take a look at the garage. Oh, our car repaired itself. Look at that. Well, that's that's very kind of it. Now the question is, do we actually want to start out by upgrading our workshop? That costs us 6k. That's a lot. Um, also, advanced grain set. Oh, right. Uh... Okay, yeah, grains. That's that's something com completely different, of course. Yes, grain prepping set. There's a lot of interesting things going on there. Um, so that reminds me that we actually need to take a look into the technology tree. Distillation. Do we, we do want to craft some of the big stuff, right? So um, unlock that. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, now we have 217... Nine. What was this? 140. That leaves 139. And this one is 100. Oh. This one is 75. For the wild yeast. We do probably, in order to get some... Some brandy going, we do need the pressing. And that unlocks all kinds of components. So I think we do need to go for that one first. And then what more? Uh, we could also gain... Yes. We can also gain a lot of points, mastery points, from the fortification process. So that is something that I want to try out as well. Including the with the better stuff. And from there we're 39. And the next thing we unlock is going to be the wild yeast and that shouldn't be too far off if we just go for some moonshine first um, and up the quality of it so we are still at 102k somehow when money materialized and our car was repaired I don't uh, mind <laughs> to get a little few bucks extra there but um, now let's see with our new stuff oh this one has unlocked Right, manual press, old cauldron. We will need both. Let's see how expensive they are. So, 1,250, that's not too bad for the manual press. Uh, it's compared to the old cauldron. Uh, today's metal prices, this is probably still why it's so expensive. But this one, $1,250 for a little press. But yeah, I guess. Um, oh, we should take a look here. No new fermentation stuff, but we do have... In the distillate. Oh, yo, yo, yo. There we go. Oh. They all have just one star, though. Ooh. Oh, that's expensive. Oh, these are the 400 liter sets. Yeah, that is quite important to get so that we get some bigger batches going. Oh, the ABC is gone, isn't it? And we still don't have unlocked any two-star things. No, there's my ABC. Uh, it's sorted in a weird way. Uh, so that one was 4,500. That one was the cheap one. Yeah, power 5, reflux 0. 
What does the reflux mean? That's that's what I want to have a tooltip on. Oh, maybe it does say it, uh, say it here. The Book of the Moonshiner here is actually pretty well written. It's it's good. I I like it. I should <laughs> should probably read it. There's a lot in here. I like the style of included manual basically in the game. It's not um, specific to the UI, but it's specific to just the general theme and uh, what you're doing in general, which is really helpful to get that background and then everything else can be explained via tooltips and the like. But yeah, I do want to, to take a closer look at the stats of these things because we did have the fireplace as our best option previously. Power 15 and reflux 0%. So grandpa's favorite is the next step up. Uh, 8,000 only. Power 20, some higher stats. Yeah, decent, decently higher stats and 400 liters capacity. Then we have the higher powered version of this with lower stats. And then we have a version with even higher stats and gas. Oh, I see. I see. And it is probably pretty good that we do have more people trying to build this stuff now because this takes 54 hours. And this one, six hours. Fireplace, ah, oh, fireplace already took 24. This one is also fired by gas. And, um, yeah. Funky looking set, yes indeed. I do wonder, these, these stats are the highest. Reflux rate is not zero, while it is zero for the others. I, in, in my naive mind, I connect reflux to something that is undesirable, but maybe it is in in this kind of process. Uh, I would like to find out about it. Ah, here we go. Okay. Moonshines are sugar-based, yes. Brandies are fruit-based, okay, yes, we assumed as much. Vodkas are vegetable-based and whiskies are grain-based. But there you go. This is also very good to know. Cheap recipes allow the player to start with a production uh, with a flavor match of just 80%. Fine requires 85 and premium requires 90%. Yep. Should we go with two of these? Like the triplets, the super high end, or you're all faithful? You're all faithful. Um, that is also very solid. It wouldn't allow us to use uh, or to take a look at the reflux rate, though. Maybe we take one of each and then take a look at the differences. So, yeah, let's uh, start off with that one. Uh, oh, Steven, Mr. Speedy Boy, does get the triplets. Uh, you create that one. Yep. And then we go... Ah. We would need another slot here. Considering how much time it takes to craft these... I think I'm going to upgrade the workshop. Yep. So now George can also work on something and he is going to do this one. Now create that. And now we only have a nice amount of thousands of dollars in the bank. That has escalated quickly. Why doesn't he get any pay? Seems too good. Now, while they are crafting, let's have a look at the store, because that should still have no warnings whatsoever, and we can just go out and shop. Oh. Oh. Okay. We need to buy this stuff as well. Yeah. Um, these do change taste? No units in storage for now, yes. Oh, 10, oh, wow. That does make it expensive. Um, I, I guess we do need a few more. Um, so, uh, ouch. 100 liters of that? Yeah, yeah, if we need to lift our spirits. And, oh, it does have a weird indication here. This one is yellow. And here it is showing as red and green, so it doesn't really know what it is. Uh, we do need gas and plenty of it. 
So let's go with 200, 300 kilos. Uh, let's go with 500 kilos. That should cover us for a long time. Am I buying too much? Maybe I am. And we do need to buy lots of ingredients here as well. These, these aren't cheap either. But 500 kilos of gas is a lot. You can burn stuff with that forever. So let's... Um, no, we don't buy it yet. We make the shopping list extremely long. Um, considering that we are running 400 liter operations now, we kind of need to double the inventory. Does that mean that we need like every single one of these? And then up everything to like insane numbers? So the agave syrup uh, goes, no, not, not like this, by 100. Let's go with 100. Uh, that's, it's going to be a, a little bit of a, uh, a few heavy bags to carry out of this shop. Oh, apples. Holy shit, they are inexpensive. Um, do we? <laughs> I think for, for brandies, what you do, if I, if I've understood it rightly, you just press the fruit and then you use the pure fruit juice to create... To, to use as a base, not water and put sugar in it and solve the sugar in it, but rather you take just the, the pure fruit juice. And if that is the case, we need a lot of fruit. And apple is always a good thing to do, so uh, to use. Um, how about we do get a few hundred kilos then? I mean, <laughs> fortunately, they don't go bad, or do, do they? That would be scary. <laughs> So the more exotic stuff we buy, let's say, 100 kilos off. Um, no! Ah, damn it. The keys. Uh, 100 kilos. Plum! Uh, no, plum is it's not that exotic. Uh, let's use it like this. What does plum have? Okay. More bitter taste there. A little salty. Weird. Anyway. Uh, strawberry. Probably just something that you has have as an additive for most things. Uh, let's buy another, uh, let's buy a hundred kilos there as well. Then we have grapes. Uh, I mean, grapes could be both. Uh, let's buy 150 kilos. So that is a shopping cart of 18, almost 19,000. Let's see if we got everything here. Oh, I think we need some more pear. Do we? Yeah, let's, let's go 200 kilos. And then that's about apples. So dirt cheap. You probably need a shit ton of those. All right. Uh, everything else is fine. That's just our standard moonshining kind of amounts. Probably need a little bit more. Let's go with 150 kilos of each. Okay. I think that's a good set. <laughs> First set of stuff to buy. <laughs> the starter kit. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm unsure what the little lady at the counter will think. Um, but yeah, no pressure points applied. This is our first starting out stash. Buy this. And we still have plenty of money here to, um, to upgrade things and uh, to build, to craft amazing uh, fermentation tanks and the likes. Let's see how things are going. Well, both are busy. I'm going to monitor this. If, if this is right, the salary there is being zero, I think that's a good deal, and we are going to keep him. Oh, he's slowly, slowly gaining XP for something. He's still supposedly busy. Oh, now he's available. Okay, does that mean that... Oh, yeah, we can place the first one. There we have it. Where, where can we place it? Where can we place them? Uh, okay. Oh, down here as well. Okay, there's another big... Wow, there's... There are big areas here. Right. But they are further away from the river. Where we need to get the water. So maybe we want to try and cram into ev uh, everything into this little sector here. But this is also close to the water. But further away. This is just for the car. The garage. I think this is where the store, store is. They have to walk all the way up here. Yeah, there's another road going there. Hmm. 
This is definitely the closest location. Should we try to set it up here? So let's place, uh, because they need to cross the bridge from there and then go around here it looks like. It looks blocked here in some regard. Um, I need to walk around here and then probably we can place it pretty far down. Rotate this around a bit. What is what is the front and what's the back? I, I don't know. But yeah, there. So now um, you need to... Ah, now we can see that. Um, under construction, this one is placed. And now we need to go to crafting and start crafting some other things like big fermentation tanks. Let's do only those. Now, George can continue to craft. And there we have another one to place. It is the triplets. Wow, this thing is massive. Okay, where, where can we place it? There's not that many. Hello? Hello, this thing is big. Okay, we can place it out. I, I don't... I don't see why... Okay, maybe we just place it there. That's looking fancy. Look at them. So professional. Otherwise, you can just always pack them up and uh, just replace them. So that's at least great. Uh, now, workshop. We do need to um, start working instantaneously on another big fermentation tank. And there we have the first quest done as we have crafted um, three things. Right equipment and the correct shopping list. Um, yes, squash them fruits like professionals. Indeed. And we can craft another fermentation tank there, yeah? Um, I believe we can place the first one somewhere around here. Uh, where do we want to do that? Uh, place, just place it up there? Yeah, yeah, that's one tank. Oh, shit. Uh, now I'm crafting another one. Well, then we have three. I guess that's that's fine. And both done. <laughs> Let's place them both down. No, no, I wanted to go to the base. Um, and we do want... A, there. Place place one. Oh, we don't have that much space left over. And place the other one... Um, like next to it. Like there. Okay. This is starting to look like a proper operation. Now, we need presses. And cauldrons. Let's make two presses first. One there. And one there. And they are done as well. Now, um, we can place those down. Where would we want to place them? Maybe... Oh, they're tiny! Look at them, how cute! Considering that you need to have them pretty close to... Ugh. It's a little odd that you don't see where you can place them and where not. Uh, here there's plenty of room. So let's, let's place them over here at the river. So there we have one. And then um, place the other one there. And we need two old cauldrons. We'll craft that. And... Oh, do we have anything else here? Nope. Good. And craft that. And then our operations can begin. And done. Whoa. That took a while. Let's see where we can place those. This is all kind of occupied. But there we can place one. And the other one can go... Well, over there, I guess... How does that look? It's nice and tidy. And we only spend 65,000 on this setup. Okay, then we, we kind of know roughly now how much we need to save up towards the end of this chapter to re-establish our base pretty quickly. So now let's do what we all have been waiting for. Let's, let's make something new. That's something we need to try out. So, uh, ingredients. How about we start out with apples? No data. Okay. Uh, fermentation. Uh, Many press. Always pick the first one for the first batch that you make. Then, so that we know that. Ah. Ah. Okay. I believe. With this being the case, this is likely, yeah, 
some different types of like Applejack or whatever that is called. Um, okay, this one is beyond our matching capabilities, I believe. So let's pick this one. Yep. Okay. Um, that. And now we need something that has mm, accurate Swede. A sweet. Okay. But more of ah, oh, there strawberry. Yeah. Um, also the first manual press, yes. Okay, now we need to reduce this. Oh man. We can't, we can't get that. We can't get it. We can't make the new recipe. Because we don't have an, the, the, the yeast quality. Um, we need to unlock the wild yeast. Yep, okay. Well, uh, that means we cancel this one. Reset everything. Gone. We are going back into moonshine. <laughs> but uh, that was indeed how it worked. So, uh, yeah. No, we are going to make... Um, load the recipe. Now we are going to make some high quality stuff here. Uh, how about we go down the list? Um, recipe has never been made before. We have made the recipe before. Are we going to get all the points for mastery again if we make them? That will be impressive. So let's start with a... Ah, yeah, whatever. Um, Rotgut, because that is our starting point. Was our starting point for the last one, right? So choose this recipe. And that was very simply just um, this sugar and the, the red one. Uh, that is the green one. Where's the red one? There. All right. And we... Put it into the big tank and balance it carefully. There. All right. Perfect. And now, uh, let's try well the, the first one here, right? So this one. And wow. Apparatus gives 14%. Yep. Oh, that's good. Uh, we only have the simple yeast. But let's see what comes out of it. Now, Steven is, has the honor of setting up the fermentation. That is a lot of extra taste points. Oh, then there's no extra taste points there. Well, that's that's fair then. Uh, that's fourteen percent ethanol with like that. But um, right, we do want to have how much was this capable of sixteen? Yep. But simple power would also be good because that allows us to get some more alcohol content. Ah, I wonder if our new distillation stuff is a little better that we get some some more out of it and don't lose too much taste. Because if that is the case, let's try to make this even better. We can add some more sugar. There, that was the maximum. Uh, now, come on. Oh, this is a little annoying. Come on, 22. That should be the max. Um, if we can, if we are lucky, we can remove one bitter component from there. And this ends us up with 14%. That's plenty. It just takes five days. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's uh, get that one going. And then we're going with the uh, old classic. The poor man's tequila, I guess. Choose that recipe. And we have the perfect match right there. Uh, go with the triplets and create. Let's set up with George the uh, fermentation. And wow, that's making it sour. Oh, this will be pretty good. A simple blast, although it doesn't allow as much um, sugar content, of course. There, that's just seven percent. One day, sixteen though. That's fast. And they are carrying the stuff over. Into our base. Dawn is dawn is rising. Now the sun is rising. Um, but anyway, they are busy and <laughs> confused. <laughs> Very confused. Ah, they are getting water from right there. That's not too far to walk. George still doesn't have a celery. I appreciate him for this. Oh, we should also have new potential recruits. Brian, Brian and John. Well, how about John? He's cheap. 
or supposedly cheap. Let's offer him an 80 percenter. Yep, yeah, okay, uh, he's, he's very cheap. 441 there. And now I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here. Oh. Oh. New stuff. Oh, blending match. Oh. There's a lot happening here. Ethanol 27. That's at flame rate 100. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Well, that doesn't, didn't do anything there, but flame rate 30. It's also just accelerating things a little bit. This uses 30 kilos? Oof. That's a lot. So we need to select, out of the heads, we need to select one, at least. Out of the um, heart, we need to select at least one. And out of the tail, we need to select at least one. Right, where? Where's all the salty stuff? There. So if we get rid of one salty stuff, that's even better. Oh, look how close we get to this. But we're only making 70. Now we're making 75 there. It does take longer. Oh yeah, much longer. All right. Um, yeah, that's the, the way to go. 99% match. Whoa. And then we can just fortify it a little bit. Just We don't need much there. Um, it's just 1% off. And we get perfect ethanol match. And we have 99% taste match. That's solid. Okay, it just takes 14 hours. Evaporation temperature, 83 degrees. And I'm happy with this one. That's looking fantastic. All right. 68% uh, at the start. Whew. Okay, create this one. And done. Bottling. Now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that is... What? Recipe does not match? Does not... What? Doesn't match? Does match. It's match perfectly. All right. Spirits added. There. We do get plus 1% ethanol. And there, recipe mat. Oh, uh okay. So that is plus two percent recipe matched. What does that mean? Oh, we do get another three mastery points there. Wow. And we can just add ma massive amounts of water if we wanted to. <laughs> Estimated revenue ten thousand. <laughs> Hey, but this is some really best bang for your yuck buck. Okay. But the expensive product, we can sell this for 65 and we're still good. Recipe match. That's that's solid. And we get 86 points for it. Sure as, as hell we're going to make all these recipes again. That's That's great. 83%. How would you have made it better? That, that is uh, honestly something I w do want. Oh, no. I know. Okay. Well, there's the magic bonus of employees and apparatuses, right? So um, you can get better because of that. Looks like a maximum you can get 70% from the flavor match. And then the rest needs to stay. The, the ethanol match can only get you negative. And the apparatus seems to be... And the employee effect seemed to be what is left over there. Okay. And this one takes just two liters. And we bought 100 of them. So if you're reasonably close at the start, you can get away with a lot. So um, that's solid. Let's bottle it. 125. We are so going to blast through this tech tree. And you know what? It's really interesting to see how um, more advanced equipment unlocks more advanced... UI for those processes. I think that's a great idea. It's a natural progression where you are not um, unleash the full amount of complexity onto the player from the start, like automation does, for instance. <laughs> that's my that's my game. <laughs> um, and the learning curve smoothens out that way. So Pullman's Tequila, massive success. Love it. Now you know what, technology tree. Yeast. Unlock. Yes. <laughs> 50 points left over. What do we do? Uh, enzyme would be nice. 
Pacific effect increases the percentage of sugar in ingredients during pre-fermentation. That sounds like something really useful uh, in general, so that you you don't have to uh, to use as many resources for that to happen. But what are we going to go for next? Well, that's that's the only thing that's left, right? Um, we have the wild yeast, advanced pressing. We can get some more stuff that we need to buy. Oh, expensive. And this one. So let's go for batch number three. Load a recipe. Um, we could do a spirit lifter. That one requires 40%. And that tells me that we will have to remove a few jars to get even close to that thing. And that, in turn, tells me that we do need to overshoot the uh, taste profile. Let's try. So what if we go with something like real cheap, just salty sour, um, like this, and uh, this? Yeah, it's not enough. <laughs> but if we choose this one that's a perfect match and we can use the wild yeast to overshoot and then we choose the triplets and we shall see what comes out of it create and set up form fermentation with George whoa oh my god <laughs> what is going on there this is awful that would be a lot of jars to remove um, uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> that doesn't work. No! <laughs> what is it doing? What are you doing? This doesn't work? Well, I guess we can remove something like that to there so that we don't have that much sweetness. But uh, all the saltiness. There's so many, so many bottles we have to remove that way. Oh, let's fill it up, um, mash it up, and we get... Oh, that was way too much. Um, that one only takes 20. Okay. That's fair. Yes, we somehow need to remove the sweet stuff there. Okay. Seems a little extreme right now. Uh, lots of overshoots. Can we create this one? I think we can. Let's try it out. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, how... <laughs> how good can we make the rot gut? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's a lot of uh, fuel usage. Uh, well, fuel usage doesn't change, but we can increase the, the tails here. So let's see where we find the perfect one. I think this one is already looking really good. So 20%. 20% seems fine. 30% does change a few things increases though the speed in general can also go to now 40 percent can we go to 40 percent i do want to reduce a little bit of salty if we can ah that would also reduce acrid would that make it better it's a 91 percent match this is a 92 percent match but this is wow oh, wow what happens if we just put loads of water into it can we do that? I mean, look at the ethanol content. Maybe we don't need to re remove this one, but rather this one? We're just... We're just plopping away into the river the, the, the best jar. All right. Yeah, I do want to try that out, though. Like, seriously, this is... This is crazy. It's still a very solid me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, we need one tails, so let's keep that one. It seems to be a very good match in terms of flavor. And now the quality is very much hampered by too much ethanol. But that means we need to have... Uh, does the taste... The taste would go away by adding water. So this this whole, everything here should go towards the middle uh, for the taste profile. 
Let's see if it actually does that. If it's working this way. Because it should. Um, and this is a, a lot that we need to get rid of. So this means that we need to... Uh, what is this? Uh, we, we need to put a third of water in there. Like, around there. Create this one. Let's see what happens. Steven is done. Set up the bottling. <laughs> Recipe does not match. Nope. Yep. No, no shit. Um, this, there. Okay. They, they need to change this. They so need to change this. Because this makes it way too easy. It should decrease the taste profile. You need to overshoot a lot because you've just put 100 liters of water into this. That is uh, more than just a drop, you know. So, um, there's 79 matched. Do we get it higher than this? No, it doesn't matter. So we want to increase it as much as possible while still on 79. There. Okay. 99 liters of water. Not Luftballons. And that's plus 79 points. Recipe matched. Yeah. <laughs> nice. What do we sell this for? 43? That's just 10k in profit. I love it. And I just have to go and... Oh, wait a second. Do we have enough points for anything? No, not yet. Um, but I do need to make a new batch. Let's try a, a pointin. No, pointin. Yes, um, no, much better. Um, uh, what, whatever. So uh, let's choose that one. And mm, that was basically the bittersweet and acrid salty, just two components. So uh, that is bittersweet and acrid and salty. That one. Do we have enough? Uh, and I think this is the first one. Yeah, okay. Uh, then, yeah, it was the first one. Oh, we can use the clean tank if we want to. Tank three. But no, let's use the first one. That is equal match. But we check, pick wild yeast and there. Ha ha. Looky, looky. That's exactly what you need. And ye old faithful. And create this one. Set up the firm. Oh, whoa. Those taste points, yo. I mean, yeah, the tank isn't the cleanest, but uh, still. Um, that is wild. Indeed. Literally. Let's see if there's anything better. And no. No is the answer. <laughs> you don't even have to have this taste in it from the start. You just let it, let it accumulate in the fermentation process. This is insane. How much uh, do we need for this? 30% uh, ethanol, right. Yeah, the Wild Blast is probably the best match, but um, how much sugar can that take? Just 14%? Yeah, that's not much. Hmm. So let's go with the Wild Kindle instead, uh, because that one can take uh, 20, right? Yeah, exactly. There. Ah, it's looking better. And we can just remove all the salty stuff from there. It should help. Alright, uh, let's create that one. Uh, we take all the salty points, or do we cut it there? We can cut it there. Yeah, cut down the time by like half a day. There's basically no sugar remaining anyway. And there we have the spirit lifter set up. Ah, uh, ooh. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of flame rate. Uh, now, we... How much do we need? 40%. We are at 45 if we take everything. Let's reduce it to 30%. We are now at 4... We, uh, we do have to to get rid of some jars too. Uh, and this is exactly where this kind of falls apart a little. We need to remove all the sweetness. That's fine. So now we have 88 liters remaining. We have the taste much better there. We need to reduce the salty. And I would like to remove some of that. And... Oh, 62%? <laughs> I don't really want to 
get rid of a 62%. You see how abusable this system is now? If you don't lose taste profile? If you did, and I think that would be a really good change, um, then you would have to have a gut feel for how much water you then need. Could even calculate it, basically. But how much water you need and how much that would decrease the taste. And thus leave it higher still and then put water in so that it brings it down to something normal and the effort. So there are two things you need to match instead of one. And it's trivial to do so and just has benefits instead of also some complex uh, chain of um, calculations you need to make to get it exactly right. But yeah, uh, we are going to reduce it further by removing... No, no, not this jar. Um, we need to get it right. We do need the saltiness that needs to be removed there. And now something that is a little bit more... That's really close then. And this is at 57% ethanol. Yeah, I, I think I... Can I just pick this one? 96. Yeah, this one has higher percentage, but the higher percentage is coming from this having a lower ethanol number. So, 57%. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it's a little strong, sorry. Um, let's continue. And there we go. Our third batch is done. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Match perfect. And now, um, we need water. And lots of it. Wait a sec. There. No, it wasn't wasn't that much. 27 liters. That still makes 91. That's that's neat. This is a really good one. So wow. Yeah. Fair price. Good value. Let's go for good value. 53. 84 mastery points. Recipe matched. Nice. Wow, that's a big improvement there. Let's bottle it. And I think this is this is a lot of fun, by the way, to make those pr uh, recipes properly now. Um, but uh, time has come to end this episode. And I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.